Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. Well, the days of rage continue in Israel, especially in Jerusalem. Uh, the administration has tried to tell us, tried to pass off this sad joke that there's a moral equivalence between what the Palestinians are doing and Israel's response, between the incitement, the the plan, the strategized incitement of the Palestinians and Israel's response. There is no moral equivalence to that. That's like saying there's a moral equivalence between good and evil. You know, a murderer and the police both have weapons. There is no moral equivalence between them. One is good, one is evil. This has to be stopped. And that's ex exactly what the the ambassador to the United States from Israel, Ambassador Ron Dermer, has said. Dermer said, the international community has to make a clear demand, a demand from Mahmoud Abbas that he has to fully stop, fully stop all this incitement and all lies. The leaders have to step up and stand firm against terrorism. That's precisely what it is. Palestinian jihadic, jihadist terrorism. Abbas is not doing that. He actually is pouring more fuel on the flames. The other thing is we have to understand this incitement problem has been going on for years within the Palestinian community. From the cradle to the grave, for years this incitement has been going on and promoted. Dermer goes on, if we want to solve this problem long term, we have to address the issue of incitement within the Palestinian society. We have to look at what young Palestinian children are learning in their schools, what they're watching on television. And most important, we cannot have a Palestinian society that glorifies murderers and names public squares after killers. This has to stop. And the international community can help us to get Palestinian leadership to cause it to stop. Prime Minister Netanyahu had some additional remarks concerning this. It says, I would like to add a word to the Arabs of Israel. Do not be misled by agitators who want to engulf the country in flames. <clears throat> we live together. We believe in coexistence. It's very easy to unravel the threads that bind us to one another. Do not be enticed to do so. Talking to the Arabs who live in Israel. Arab citizens. Israeli citizens. Arab Arabs who are Israeli citizens. That's who he's talking to. I know there's a large public and community leaders from among Arab citizens of Israel who understand exactly what I'm saying. Leaders must find the courage to say these things and to stand up to oppose the extremists and the fanatics, the, fanatics, the Palestinian jihadists. I have called and call upon once again to, to every citizen of Israel, Arab, as well as Jewish, it is forbidden to raise a hand against innocent civilians from either side. Israel is a law-abiding country. Whoever takes the law into his own hands will pay the price. <clears throat> the president has tried to tell us, tried to sell us the notion, the myth, that this is random violence. This is not random violence, folks. This is a planned strategy. Hamas has called for days of rage, and that's exactly what they're getting incitement on the part of Palestinian jihadists and the response of Israelis to take them out. <clears throat> this has to stop. And if I had counsel for the leadership of Israel, I would say, you tell Mahmoud Abbas, you either stop this or we will stop it. We will stop it with extreme prejudice. We will terminate Hamas with extreme prejudice. You know, up to now, all these encounters with Hamas and Hezbollah have ended in ceasefires. That should never be the future. There should be a clear-cut victory over these jihadists. They must be destroyed. And as I thought about this, I'm reminded of the passage in Zechariah chapter 12. This refers to an event that's going to take place. I don't know when, but it appears to me that the stage is being set for it. Zechariah chapter 12, God says this, I'm going to make Jerusalem a cup that sends all the surrounding peoples reeling. They're going to be knocked out. They're going to be drunk. 
They can't stand it. I'll make Jerusalem an immovable rock for all the nations, and all who try to move it will injure themselves. That's exactly what's happening today. Then he goes on to say, verse 6, On that day I will make the leaders of Judah like a fire pot in a wood pile, like a flaming torch among sheaves, and they will consume right and left all the surrounding peoples, but Jerusalem will remain intact in her place. Now, as I say, I don't know when that's going to happen, but I do believe that the conditions are ripe for that to happen right now. And I think that Israel is coming to the point where they have to recognize that Hamas and Hezbollah have to be destroyed. They cannot be negotiated with. There is no uh, hope for peace with these people. They must be destroyed. I will make Jerusalem a cup that sends all the surrounding peoples reeling. That's happening sooner or later. And I would guess sooner. For Israel's sake, I hope so. Till next week, Od Ki Yavoshilo, or until Messiah comes, Yavareka Yahweh. Yahweh bless you, bless those you love, and bless those who love you.